Hi again. It's, uh, it's another severe weather potential with meteorologist Rusty Dawkins. Yeah, and, and it's just insane uh, how busy this spring has been. I haven't seen anything like this for probably 10 or 12 years. I mean, it's been a while since it's been this busy this often uh, for a spring in Nebraska. And here we are again. Uh, it's uh, the final week of spring. We have another chance for severe weather. In fact, uh, take a look at this. We have uh, marginal to slight risk. The slight risk is basically the western half of uh, the state. That's that yellow level two risk. Um, and it does uh, incorporate everybody from Sioux City to O'Neill, McCook, North Platte, uh, Broken Bow, Valentine, Shattern, Scotts Bluff. Uh, Lincoln, Omaha, Beatrice, not in this one, uh, but that comes tomorrow. I'll show you that here in a second. But uh, the best chance for a tornado uh, is in that brown circle area. That's a 5% chance. That usually means one or two spin-ups a possibility. I don't think it'll be a huge deal. I don't think it'll be a, an outbreak. Uh, but one or two spin-up tornadoes a possibility. Uh, the areas in green, a little bit smaller risk, but still a chance for a sp one or two storms to spin something up. Now, I think the main concern is going to be the large hail in that uh, yellow area with the dashed, uh, the black hash marks. That means anything, uh, any storm that gets going could produce hail over two inches in diameter. That's bigger than a golf ball. Golf ball is an inch and three quarters, uh, so this would be bigger than that. That's your uh, main problem, I guess, uh, to, to put it mildly, uh, for uh, Monday afternoon and into the evening hours. Also, damaging wind going to be a possibility uh, for much of the state. Uh, and again, southeast Nebraska not included on this, but uh, it does look like the storm should die down as they move to the east, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, but damaging wind, a 15% chance from Valentine to M uh, McCook, O'Neill, that general area, basically central and parts of western Nebraska. So here's what Stormcast has. Notice there's not much happening uh, for the afternoon, but by early evening, around 6, 7 o'clock in the evening, southwest Nebraska starts to see those storms pop. Now I'll preface this by saying other models, not too keen on this. They're saying things are going to remain capped. But this one model shows that if storms get going, this is what could happen. So I'm going to show you that one, but just keep in mind other models are showing not a whole lot of much, uh, of anything. So we'll see. Now by uh, 7 or 8 o'clock in the evening, a big line shows up. So that those first initial frames where we were seeing those storms form, that's your tornado threat. This right here is more of the wind threat. you got a long line of storms from O'Neill to uh, the Tri-Cities to the southwestern corner of the state near McCook. That's your damaging wind potential starting to increase. And then by about nine or 10 o'clock, it starts to weaken a little bit. Once it moves into central Nebraska, it kind of loses uh, fuel for its fire. So it runs into some stable air, and even right there, 10 o'clock, it's still strong, especially in south central Nebraska, but then it just kind of fizzles out. This is 11 p.m., and then that's about it. And by the time it gets uh, past Grand Island, it is going to be uh, pretty quiet. So that's for Monday night into Tuesday. Now for Tuesday afternoon into the evening hours, everything shifts to the east. Everything from Grand Island, Columbus, Omaha, Lincoln, Beatrice, Hebron, uh, Holdridge, uh, Tri-Cities, a, a slight risk. That's that yellow area. Now what does that mean? Storms could have large hail, damaging wind, and an isolated tornado. In fact, here's what Stormcast has. Around five o'clock in the afternoon, four or five o'clock in the afternoon, that line of storms starts to pop up slowly meanders its way east, some heavy rain going to be a possibility, a lot of lightning, large hail, damaging wind. The tornado threat is pretty small. Uh, I think this is more going to be more of a, a damaging wind and, and hail possibility. And then this is out of here fairly quick by 10, 11, 12 o'clock. Uh, it does look like this is out of our hair and into Iowa, Missouri, and eastern parts of Kansas. So that's your next potential. Now, how much rain are we talking about? We could see quite a bit. Uh, over the next couple of days, through Tuesday into Wednesday night, you're looking at uh, half an inch to an inch to maybe two inches of rain in some spots by Wednesday night. So uh, certainly something to keep an eye on. Uh, I'll be tracking things, uh, and again, if uh, there's the severe weather pops up and I need to go live on YouTube, I will do that. And uh, so like and subscribe. That way you know when I go live on YouTube. And uh, you can, it's fun. We have a lot of fun over there. We talk a lot about what's going on, and you can ask questions. Uh, and it's basically having a meteorologist in the room with you. Uh, so uh, that would be awesome if you could like and subscribe. That's the information for you right now. Uh, we'll see you next time.